Good morning, Racketeers. We know that water is very special and important and that we need to drink it every single day so that we can stay healthy. But do you know why else water is special and important? Water can come in different forms. It can be a liquid, like the water that I'm drinking right here. It can be a solid, like the ice that's in my glass. Or it can be a gas like the water vapor that is coming off of this hot water. If I bring it up close, you can kind of see it. It's very light. When you cool water down, it becomes a solid ice. And when you heat it up, it becomes a gas, the water vapor. Something very special about water is that water molecules stick together. A molecule is the smallest unit of water that still has all of the same properties that water does. And when water molecules stick together, that process is called cohesion. After you're done watching this video today, you're going to practice making a claim. Remember, a claim in science class is the answer to the question. You're going to want to watch all the way to the end of the video to hear the question that you have to answer today. And you're going to be using things that you learn in the video to help you answer that question. Are you guys ready to do our experiment? Awesome. Let's go. We can see that the water molecules stick together when I put the drops of water on the plate. Do you see when I put the drops of water on the plate and they're close to one another, they all start to form one big drop of water. To prove that water is special, let's see if the same thing happens when I put some sugar on the plate. Are the drops of sugar trying to stick together? No. Now let's try something even more fun. When it's nice enough to go outside, I love to go outside and play with bubbles. Now I can make bubbles by mixing water and liquid dish soap. Let's test it out. Look at that. Now every bubble that I've always seen has always been a circle shape. What's a circle called when it's three-dimensional or 3D? Oh, you're right, a sphere. So that got me wondering, can I make a square bubble? So I worked really hard and I made a cube bubble wand. Let's try this out. So I have to make sure that I can get my bubble wand all the way down in there, like that. Now, if we look inside, the bubble that's inside the bubble wand is shaped the same as the wand. So it's a cube. Let's see what happens when I blow the bubble. You ready? Hmm, that bubble was still a sphere. I wonder why. Do you remember when we learned that water molecules stick together in a process called cohesion? Well, this is getting super scientific, but it's easier for the water molecules to stick together when they're in a sphere because there's less surface tension. So it's easier for them to stay in that circle than it is to stay in a square. So was I able to make a square bubble? Hmm. Inside the bubble wand. But was I able to blow a square bubble? Think about that. Now I have a secret question. Can you hold a bubble? Did you notice that when I blew the bubble and it hit my hand, it popped? Well, as a certified bubble expert, I know that bubbles pop when the water evaporates because the air around the water is warmer. It causes the water to heat up, which makes the molecules move faster. 
and then it becomes vapor. Bubbles also pop sometimes when they hit the grass or when the oils on our hands break the surface tension. So I'm going to do something very special to my bubble mixture. I'm going to add a little bit of sugar and then stir it in. I'm gonna take this bubble wand out for a bit, set it down, and then I'm gonna stir it until that sugar dissolves. My hypothesis is that by adding the sugar to the water, it's going to make the molecules stronger and slow down the evaporation process. I also am going to put on a glove to make sure that the oils on my hands don't touch the bubble and cause that surface tension to break. Okay, are you ready to try this? I'm gonna use the bubble one that I've already made. I'm gonna dunk it in the water, just like that. Square bubble inside. I know that when I blow the bubble, it's going to become a sphere because it's easier for the water molecules to stick together as a sphere. Ready to test it? And right there, I am holding a bubble. Can you believe it? Oh, so it definitely, it slowed down the evaporation process it's still going to evaporate because that's just what water does when the air around it heats it up. But I got to hold it for a couple of seconds. Should I try it again? Okay. Look at that one, ready? I'm gonna bounce it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I bounced a bubble. <laughs> that was so cool. You guys, I'm having so much fun with this. <laughs> I feel like a kid. Okay. So the question that I'm gonna ask you today, so you can practice using your claim, can you make a square bubble and why? I want you to tell an adult if you can make a square bubble and why you can or cannot. I'm so excited to see if you try this experiment at home. If you do try, let me know down below. Were you able to make bubble shapes? Were you able to make bubbles that you could hold onto? Did you get any bouncing bubbles? I can't wait to see. If it's nice, go outside, play with bubbles. You can make them yourself with just some water, dish soap, and if you wanna make the bubbles stronger, add a little bit of sugar in there. I'm so excited about this project, you guys. This is really fun. All right, I miss you, be good. Happy learning.